So today is the day we are moving the miniature horses into the mini barn. Now, that doesn't mean the mini barn is 100% done. It just means Karen is past 300 days pregnant. I really wanna have her under cameras. I really wanna be able to acclimate her into living in the barn part-time before she has to be on fall watch because when she moved here, she had been only on pasture turnout and when she went into the barn, it kind of stressed her out a little bit. So I wanna give her that full month before she has her baby, hopefully. So let's go get them. We're gonna try to go ahead and get some of the halters on. Hi, hi, Karen. Karen obviously is not a hard one. Gretchen, what are you gonna do when Karen has a baby and you're not the baby anymore, hmm? What are you gonna do? Miss Karen, we're taking you to your new digs that we literally built just for you. They got their little feet done the other day and Gretchen's feet are like, like their little hoof trimmings were like this big. All right, well you grab Karen. They have gotten so much more chill over the last few months being over here rather than over at the big farm. Like they, they all come to me every day. Gretchen actually whinnies like wanting attention. It's the cutest thing ever. Okay, here's that one. Gretchen, you're the hard one. Oh. Looky there. Look how good that Miss Gretchen has gotten. Which we, we put a halter on her literally probably a week ago because we were, um, we had the farrier come out to do their feet and she was, she did not love the farrier. I will say that. Like she threw a fit, but she was very easy to catch, which was nice. Okay, there we go. Look how good you are, Miss Gretchen. Tell me if they end up being too much. I'm shocked the donkeys haven't like barged their way in here. They've been begging to come in here. Hi, Blossom. Abigail, I'm so proud of you with your two horses over there. I think we're gonna put them all in the same stall for right now so there's no like separation anxiety on the first night. We have one big stall. Gretchen, are you so excited? Gotta go up the hill. Everything will be a lot better looking in the future. <laughs> we'll have like fencing, more gravel here, a little prettier, less junky. Okay, Regina's the first one stepping foot. I'm so excited. We got your stalls already. They will never look this pretty ever again. All right, Nate, you gotta close the gate. Got two loose, last one. We'll get them a little hay. Will you go hang these on the halter hanger? Our own little halter hanger that we hung up last night. I'm getting you some hay. Oh, where was that little knife? Is it up on the, oh, I see. I'm getting you some hay, honey. Now, we do have some hay bags and I wanna have some slow eating hay bags for them, but we just haven't hung them up yet. We really just wanted to get them in here um, in order to make all this work timing wise. So there's a few things that still gotta get done, but I'm gonna just throw them some hay quickly. This is Bermuda hay. Um, we bale our own fescue hay, but when our horses are pregnant and close to foaling, we only give them Bermuda or orchard grass and a little bit of alfalfa. I'm gonna put two separate piles so that Regina and Karen aren't mean to Gretchen. Here we go. There you go. Okay. Um, because of the fescue, I've, I think I've said this a million times in my videos, but there's an endophyte in the fescue grass and it can cause all kinds of problems for expectant mamas in the equine species. So that's why they get their own special hay. I'm waiting to see if you go find your waterer. What you think ladies? Oh, someone's already christened it. 
I'm waiting to see when they go try the waterers. I think tonight I'm gonna leave them all in here together. Look how much room they have. I mean, this is a giant stall for the three of them. So I think I'm gonna leave them all together. And then, excuse me, I think when they get a little more comfortable and they're going out every single day, I'll put Karen in her birthing stall, but I don't wanna stress her out more than she has to. So I don't wanna go ahead and separate them. So we've already figured out that this gate is super inconvenient because you have to like walk around it and stuff. So unless you're bringing in the hay from the back, which eventually I think we will, but right now we're not. So it's really inconvenient. Um, but we're fake. That's why we did everything with this mini barn. Very temporary, very movable because we haven't done this before in this kind of um, space. So we, I think until you live in it, you don't know what you're gonna want and need. There you go, honeys. Oh wait, do we see the water? Are we gonna go drink out of it? Go be the first, Gretchen. Go do it. Oh, no, not good enough. She'd rather the puddles outside. So we're gonna get the cows all loaded up, take them over to the, oh, Waylon. Excuse me, sir. Can we not? I'm hoping that because I'd back it down here, it's a little downhill, that they'll be easier to like get up there. We shall see. Okay, maybe I'll just leave the one door open. I don't wanna give them too much option. Girlfriends, you ready to come home? Hi, you ready to come home? Hi, honey. Hi. See, we could be sweet. Okay, there's for you. Miss ma'am, there we go. Looky there, yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see how well they uh, load now. I'm so excited to see them frolic every day. Come on, honeys. Come on, Miss Posey. I have calf slobber. You can do it, we can behave. I think they're looking at Waylon instead of behaving. You wanna slap him on the booty, Abigail? Waylon! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on, sweeties! I think you can do it. Come on! Let me get a grab of you. I think once you get it, cause Poppy and Petunia, well, after we did it a couple times, they just load right up. Here. Hey guys, I might need some help. <laughs> I might need help. They're, they don't jump up there like Poppy and Petunia do. Which I don't think Poppy and Petunia did the first few times either, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pumpkin's in. Now the little one, but she's not so little anymore. Come on. Okay, you, huh? <laughs> Thank you for that. Before we get them unloaded, let's go put the donkeys back out. They're gonna be, well, yeah, cause I can't leave the goats in there with them. Yeah. If I could leave the goats in there with them, I wouldn't be worried about it, but. And then magically, when my husband gets home, the truck will get taken back. <laughs> the last time, it was just completely blocking the way in or out like it is now. And he was like, do I need to move this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they already know the deal. Jonathan fixed the slide today, so it doesn't look quite as junky as it did when it was broken. <laughs> Hi, goaties, look at him running. You wanna come back in? You're about to have a couple new friends. All 
Our girlfriends. Come here. Come here. Come on, honeys. Come on. Let's jump out. Okay, well, pumpkin was graceful, posy not so much. Let's go over here. Come on. Come on, girlfriends. I just realized next time I get baby bottle calves, they'll probably just come over to our barn instead of the big barn. Come on, girlfriends. I feel like we're about to do some zoomies. That's just an inkling I have. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Hey. Okay, there's one. There's two. <laughs> oh yeah, we just hit the turbo. What do you think, pumpkin? We found the gate, we have to look at everything. Oh my gosh, it's so much room for activities. Oh, we're so excited. People are honking at how cute you are. Oh, and into the goat pen we go, okay. We just can't even contain ourselves. Well, Posey's taking it all in a little bit slower, but Miss Pumpkin, she don't know what to think. <laughs> I think they like it. This is so funny. I'm so excited to have them here. You want to come out and meet them, Buttercup? You want to come meet the babies? They got to sniff everything. We found the shed with all the hay. What do we think, guys? Have you seen goats before? They're like, what are these little horned cows? <laughs> I don't think y'all have seen goats. This is a first for you, Bella. Be nice to them, okay? Oh my gosh. Posey's all about, or Posey, Pumpkin's all about giving kisses. Oh. <laughs> Look at them looking like mama and daddy over there. They're like, what is this tomfoolery going on? Buttercup got on a high place. She was like, I'm not dealing with this. What? Bella, don't headbutt her. <laughs> what are y'all thinking? She's not doing nothing. Oh, Bella. Bella, that's not very nice. That's not very nice, Bella. Okay, well, Flurry just exited the vicinity as well. Y'all two, go get some hay. They left. You don't have to tell Pumpkin twice. She sees that empty shed with all that hay. Oh yeah, I figured you'd like it. Oh wait, no. She said, I go where my sister goes. Now y'all don't be messing with the automatic water we haven't put in yet. Look at these three. They're just staying up for the time being. They're like, we don't want to deal with all this drama. Pumpkin. I don't recommend climbing. I don't think the agility is a part of your genetics, okay? I would just leave that to the goaties. <laughs> She's so loud. I wonder if this has gotten dry rotten, like if I sit on it, if it's gonna. It would not be the first, like this is our second hammock out here. The goats love it, but last summer I broke it bad. Like I was sitting here with a goat in my lap and just, Fell right through. Oh, we're getting brave. I'm staying kind of far away. I don't want to go get in the middle of it. Where's Bella? I see those two. Oh, I see Bella in the corner. <laughs> Buttercup, that wasn't very nice. Posey, they're trying to protect their hay and they <laughs> they're like, excuse me, little babies. Okay, so we got us a little piece of hay. We're venturing in there. We're getting a little more brave. Get up in there, Posey. Get you some hay. 
Okay, well, they've met the goats, they've seen the donkeys. Poppy and Petunia are over there very intrigued by these two new little ones. So pretty soon we'll have them meeting just about everybody, but we're gonna stick with the goats for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the moving of the mini horses and the mini cows. Lots more to come. I can't wait for the weather to warm up permanently and have more grass and just be able to watch the cuteness, you know? So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Those three things help me out so much. Bella had to get the last word in, so she had to come over. Hope y'all enjoyed. See you in the next one.